Now, is everyone here familiar with holographic theory? Vaguely. Okay. Vaguely. Okay. Vaguely. okay. All right. Well, for, the, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's essentially the idea that all of this physical reality is actually a very convincing hologram that we are inside of something very similar to the matrix. And this is an idea that is gaining more and more ground in the scientific community. More and more scientists are coming to the conclusion that all of this on a, on a quantum level is behaving in a very digital way. And that we may actually be inside of a very convincing, organic, vibrant, alive hologram. Now, if reality is actually holographic, if the theory is even partially correct, ideally, logically, we should be able to hack, hack this hologram just like any other computer system. Now, that leads us to some key questions. First of all, can it be done? And I believe the answer is yes, it can be done. And it's interesting because the first computer hackers, that was the thing that drove them. They were, it wasn't like we want to steal things, we want to drive people crazy, you know, giving them viruses. The first thing that drove computer hackers, the earliest ones, was can we do it? Can we get in the system? Can we make it do what we want? Can we change it? Can we improve it by getting into the guts of it? The second question is if we could hack reality, what would that look like? And that's something we'll be getting into a little bit later on, because it's, it's a very unique manifestation. And the third question is, can everyone do it? And that's something that is yet to be answered. My, my stand at this point is that people with, with decent spiritual tools who can meditate and, and control their level of consciousness and can you know, have some general awareness of themselves can learn to hack reality. Not that, it just, it's just a few tweaks in, in what you're doing. So over the next couple of hours, I'm going to tell you everything I know so far. Um, but I am going to need you guys to meet me in the middle a little bit. In that I, I can't, we're not quite at a point where I can spoon feed you every single step and follow A, B, C, and D and you get result D. It doesn't quite work that way. So you have to be willing to have that spirit of adventure. You have to be willing to explore. You have to be willing to improvise a little bit. And, and find out what works best for you. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I know so far.